What's up, everyone? I um, wanted to make a little video to talk about the cost of coaching. Obviously, it's something that's big in my world. And as someone who spent roughly six figures on coaching or coaching related programs and stuff in my life, I understand spending a lot of money on coaching. And I want to share what I understand. And this isn't a pitch for my own coaching. I'm not trying to sell my service here. If anything, I'm trying to help you understand the value of coaching in general, whether it's with me or someone else, a mentor, whatever, program, why I think spending money on coaching is a very valuable use of your resources. And I know I'm biased, but I'm going to talk about why I believe that today. I want you to imagine for a second that there was a magic pill. Right, there's a magic pill that you could take, and this magic pill has a few psychological qualities. It's kind of like a new drug, just passed FDA uh, approval, and it's ready for the public. Now, this drug does a few things. First off, instantly boosts your confidence, and not only does it boost your confidence, it has a compound effect. As each day passes and each week passes after you've taken the pill, you get more and more confident. It has this like, you only take the pill once and it just keeps on kind of paying out with more confidence. But this pill also does other things. The pill also helps you figure out who you are. You know, instantly, as soon as you take this pill, you realize what your core values are, what you stand for, what you should be doing with your life, what the meaning of life is, what your purpose is. And that again has a compound effect. After you take the pill, you keep becoming more and more clear on that over time. And thirdly, if that wasn't enough, this pill, this magic pill, also gives you social skills. It doubles your social confidence and gives you the ability to connect with people authentically, build loving relationships, build your love life, build your friend circle, repair relationships with your family, help you be more confrontational where you need to be, more loving where you need to be. And again, the compounding effect, after you take the pill, you just keep kind of like stacking up the skills and the abilities and the relationships. Now, if such a pill existed, how much would you pay to take it? How much money would you be willing to part with to take this magic pill? Imagine that it's proven it's definitely going to work the way it's promised to work. How much would you take that pill for? Would you pay $100, 500 a grand, 10 grand? Would you get out a loan for whatever it costs? because it would be worth it in the long run. If you can understand paying $10,000, $20,000 to take that pill, then you can understand the price of coaching. A lot of people look at coaching like an hourly rate. I get that quite often with people who are resistant to working with me because they think my prices are too high. And they say you cost X per hour. And that doesn't make sense for coaching. Now, if it was a lawyer, that would make sense. You pay a lawyer per hour. They don't. There's no lasting effect of working with a lawyer. They, except for maybe the pain being resolved from your case finishing, right? But you pay the lawyer per hour to work on your case, and when the case is done, the lawyer's done, and the benefit from the lawyer is also done. But the benefit from coaching just keeps on going. I'm still benefiting today from the very first coaching I ever paid for. There's still elements of that when I recall those lessons and those teachings and what I, you know how I change from that. I can still see how that benefits me today. You know, this very day, I can see actions I took that are a end result of what I picked up that very first coaching I got like six years ago, seven years ago. No lawyer I've ever hired is still having a positive effect on me. You know except for perhaps I don't have a certain pain that they were able to take away. Coaching has this compounding effect that's really hard to measure, but it's undeniable. Now, what's amazing to me is let's say an expensive coach costs 10 grand to work with them for a package of sessions, three months, six months, maybe a year, something like that. And people will be like, 10 grand? Are you fucking kidding me? That's way too much. And yet if they looked at their finances and they said, you know, I didn't spend that 10 grand on coaching. Where did I spend that 10 grand? Where did it go? 
and they'll see that it went on clothing that they didn't need. It went to alcohol. It went to coffee, and it went to meals beyond their basic groceries and so on. And they actually did spend 10 grand that year on all this stuff that wasn't necessary for their survival. So they bought all this stuff. They spent the 10 grand either way. They didn't spend on coaching. They spent it on something else. Well, if that's you, you've got to ask yourself, well, what did I get for my 10 grand? What was the return on that investment? You know, those clothes that I bought, all those coffees and lattes from Starbucks, all those all those many bottles of alcohol and maybe a few pills on the side or whatever, you know, all that stuff I bought, that subscription to Netflix and so on and so forth, that 10 grand that I frittered away throughout the year, what's the lasting effect? Uh, do I have more confidence? Am I more clear on what I'm doing with my life? Am I more clear on who I am? Have my social skills improved vastly? Have the depth of my connections got better? And is there a compounding effect? Do I keep improving those things? Because the hard truth is, of course, no. All the richest people in the world understand something that the poorest people don't in general, and that is self-investment. You know, I think it was Thomas Edison that talked about the best place you can pour money is into your head. And this is what people don't understand about coaching. They'll spend the same amount that they're scared to spend on coaching on other things, and they get nothing for it. Nothing of benefit, not even really good memories. Right? Because coaching has this ROI. The reason I've spent so much money on getting coaching for myself, I'm not talking about being a coach, but being a coachee, or a client, is because it's like it's like investing in the stock market, but you can't lose. I am just Every year I get more confident, whether I'm currently getting coaching or not, the, the residual effect of all the coaching I've received constantly boosts me. It gives me a philosophy that allows me to keep improving myself on my own. And it's like I took a magic pill, really. I mean, it didn't feel like that at the time. The magic pill analogy sounds nice, but coaching is actually long, hard work. It's hours of painful conversations and difficult actions and so on. It's not a magic pill like that. You have to make it work for you. I mean, there are people who could get coaching and have no benefit because they didn't put anything into it. I made sure that I got my money's worth out of coaching, and that's why I did get my money's worth and more out of the coaching that I received. And, and, and the ideal clients that I work with, they make it worthwhile, you know. I mean, the... The value isn't in talking to me. That's just a one, two-hour conversation. It's just talking. But they go out and they make it valuable. They go take risks and do the homework and try out new ideas and challenge their beliefs. And because of that, after our coaching is done, they keep getting better. And they've now developed themselves into a person who can self-coach and build themselves. And they get their money's worth and then some because it just keeps paying out. And you can actually measure this quite financially you know I mean when I first got coaching I was doing okay in a, in a government job and now I run my own business and I'm free to do whatever the fuck I want all the time that's an actual monetary benefit that you can measure but that wasn't because I got taught how to make more money it was because I was showing how to unleash my confidence and how to figure out what the fuck to do with my life and be very sure of myself and assertive and go for what I wanted without hesitating and so on. All of that came from coaching and it keeps paying out. So not everyone's ready for coaching and not everyone wants to invest that much in themselves. But don't lie to yourselves about it being expensive. Okay. Because only liabilities are expensive. There's something you pay for and you don't get as much back in return. Good coaching is an asset. It pays out in the long run. It even pays out quite quickly, but it pays out really in the long run. You become a better person, have a much better life, and it keeps getting better. As opposed to usually the downward slope that most people are on before they get coaching. As I always say, you'll never see an athlete at the Olympics who doesn't have a coach, and that's a there's a reason for that. They understand investment. They understand that you pour the money into yourself when you pay for coaching. 
Hey, that's all I got to say on that. I really am not trying to pitch my own services here, but I am trying to sell coaching in general. Go find a coach. There's no one who can't benefit from one. You know, as long as you don't get a crappy one, but most of them are all right. It'll be money very well spent if you make it worthwhile. If you go and take the actions and make your mind open, you don't resist the coach. You do the things, change who you are, practice those principles afterwards. You'll never regret spending any of those dollars, ever. But I bet you regret the amounts that you spend on alcohol if you add it all up, or the amount that you spend on cigarettes if you add it all up, or the amount that you spend on fancy food that you can't even remember. You add that all up. The tens of thousands of dollars you know I spent 50 grand on cigarettes in my life 50 grand I could have hired like the best coach in the world instead I put poison in my body what how was coaching expensive compared to that you know so obviously I feel personally about this but I want to put it out there if you're saying no to coaching because it's too expensive what you're really saying is you'd rather invest in crap than invest in yourself and that's the truth and that's okay just be honest with yourself. Love you all. See you next time.